Well, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Demoness. Part three. Here we go. <laughs> oh. My camera's a bit dark, but it is what it is. <sighs> so yesterday we finished well not not really finished. We went through the courtyard and we opened uh, the green door. And then we went to this weird place, like a different dimension with these creatures and stuff. So let's say, let's see where we go today. Uh, we are here. All right, so we got a couple of items. Um, we got a handle, we got a piece of paper, we got a few doors that we cannot open yet. We met Paul. Uh, we got the shotgun. Oh, we also got the lever. Oh, okay, okay. So with the lever, we can open a new door. I remember that. And here I can't do anything. Oh. <clears throat> Wait. Uh... How do you change this? Select floor. Join A, join B. I don't know. I remember there was a door. Yeah, there was like a door with the symbols. These symbols. But I don't know how to switch this thing, so... It's okay. Alright, so let's go back here. And let's use the lever. There's a door here, I believe. We need the lever for. Um, where was it? Not this way. Um, hmm. well, let me go the other way. Not this way. Not this way either. <laughs> there was this red door here. I'm not sure if that's the one for the lever or if it's the one on the west side. So I'm gonna check. <clears throat> this door here. Wait. Is it this one? Yeah. So we can open this. Activate the lever, yes. But this doesn't help us progress. It just connects a new area. I believe. Oh, never mind. This. Oh, we have been here. Why did I not take this? Who is this guy? Is that a list? Rafael Giuseppe. I don't know him. Oh, Hungarian Rhapsody. I know that's all. Alright, so that doesn't help. Let me remember what this red door is. <laughs> we don't have any keys. Oh. This is new. The map change. We got new enemies. He's absorbing the fucking... I guess I have to kill this guy. Yikes. Enemies respawning. Oh, he's coming. Bro. No! Banish. How much water do we have? Blue water? I have 80%. So we can kill... Five of those guys. Four now. Wait, 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 wait. The map changed. This was not here before. Basin is looking filled with blue water. Oh. Nice. So we have to pay attention to the map. Forward, always forward. We're marching. Oh my god, the freaking live reflection scare me. This door is locked from the other side. Okay.
Jesus is looking at me. <gasps> no. Should I go there? Nah. I th I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go just in case. I uh, something change and I have to double check because if there's something there and I miss it, then I'm gonna go back all the way to the mansion. And not gonna find anything. Then I'm gonna have to come back here. Blah blah blah. So since we're already here. There is one of those enemies behind the camera. What do you guys see there? Uh, three bullets. Let's try to kill it with a pistol. Or should we just leave it there? You're just looking at the moon, guys. You're just looking at the moon. It's okay. We can just go this way. But, uh, yeah, since we're here, let's just check the. Huh? Wait, the fuck? This gate is broken now we could have gone we could have gone that way <laughs> wow i just assume it was not broken it makes sense because i was say i was literally saying bro that 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 gate should be open so you, could, you can connect the areas and it is actually open <laughs> all right so yeah nothing to do there let's check here the monster had bigger nails in the hands? Oh, I see. <laughs> it's crucified. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's uh, the character is tripping. You're right. <laughs> okay. So this door has the one with the symbols, I believe. Door is locked. There appears to be strange symbols. We need the you know? Okay. But I can do shit. So yeah. I I think we have to go back to the courtyard. Or to the mansion. Oh man, if the enemies respawn on the courtyard, it's gonna be it's gonna be filled with enemies. Holy. I only have three shotgun shells. Here we go. Back to the mansion. I think I remember one door that was missing a handle, but I believe it was a door to a place I already could open from the other side anyways. Or maybe it was a door that I never I could never access actually. So maybe that's uh that's what's gonna make us progress. If it's not the handle, if it's not the handle, we need that means we need to use the paper somewhere. But I don't know. I, I have no idea where to use the paper to be honest. Hey, here we go. I'm gonna take the shotgun because <laughs> the the demons are out, dicks out. The demons are leaving their dicks out. Oh shit. Okay. That door is... The one on the east. That, 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 that little room all the way to the east. And it's green now, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing it's open. Because I believe it was red before. Okay, here we go. And the, it sounds like uh, it sounds like problem inside. To be honest, and I have one heal. Yikes. Well, if I die, tell my family I love them. Bro, how can this be love from the other side? And the other one is love from the other side. Uh, here we go. Oh fuck! First time we come here. We, uh, we are on the garden. It says behind the camera. I'm sorry, guys, but the, this map, this section, this area is called garden. Uh, here we go. First time here. Man, this this game's atmosphere atmosphere is on point. It's very spooky, to be honest. Very very spooky. Holy. Holy. Are you are you dead, sir? I'm going to finish you. Yeah, you think it's that? They're giving us shotgun. 
first thing they're giving us is shotgun. That is not a good sign. Let me tell you. Well, you you giving me a shotgun? I equip the shotgun. How about that? Yeah, look at this. This is beautiful. I feel that this is a very cool shot. Okay, I see one zombie. As far as they're zombies, I'm okay. If they're demons, then yeah. That's a little bit more complicated. There's another zombie here. Wake up. I'm not sleeping. The door is blocked on the other side. Hello? Am I lagging? Oh, fucking hell. No! No! He tried. Punish him. Bro, my OBS. Get the orbs. Is it my OBS? It's, I think it's my game, actually. System menu graphics. Frame rates. I'm at 60 FPS. It's like super choppy. What is happening? Maybe. Maybe it's this area of the game that is choppy? Because. Oh. oh. My game is 60 FPS constant. We got Healy's. Mm, FPS 60. Okay, now it seems like it's, it's no, it's still choppy. It's just like step st stabilize. No. Uh, oh, uh, encoding overload. Consider turning down video settings. Okay, let's go medium. Is that better? Looks, the game looks fine. Are we losing any frames? I think we're fine. Oh, what the fuck? These guys are puking green. Can I get poison? Yo! Gross! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I hope the game is working fine. Let me enable the preview back. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah, now it seems better. No, I was losing frames again. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm not sure if it's the game performance, the game's performance, if it's my PC being a poop. But it sucks. Or if it's Twitch? Encoding overloaded. Or use a faster encoding preset. It sucks. How fucking tanky are you? <laughs> Holy shit. I really don't understand how that works because sometimes it's super smooth. Thank you. And then it starts lagging. And it only happened in this game. Oh, this guy is strong. 
This is one of the fast boys. Bro, I shoot him with the shotgun, I didn't even flinch. Okay, I need to go here to have more space to run. Fucking die, mate. I'm not gonna heal yet, I'm gonna be greedy until I go orange. But I've been beaten twice, so... Must be very close. Or I'm not sure if, if, if like, this area of the game is really bad optimized. Uh, and then it makes the game lag. Maybe that, but because it's very weird that I haven't lagged the whole time and now it starts lagging suddenly, you know? That uh, happens usually sometimes with big areas. We are in a greenhouse. I hear more zombies. Yeah, let's let's clean the area and then we investigate. Yeah, greenhouse. Let's see. Oh, fucking hell. No! Okay. I need to heal up. I'm gonna use it this one. Ah, that's a waste. It's okay, though. Got him. I'm running out of uh, how much water I have. 60. I have 60. That's fine. I thought I had left. I thought I had like 20 or something. That's a okay. Some ammo. Appreciate it. Uh, these boxes are too heavy to move. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. More shotgun ammo. Okay. The game is being generous. Can we break this? There's nothing inside. Worth the try. Uh, can I break this one? Nope. Some barrels you can break, others you can't. That was a waste of a heal. Uh, do you need the ointment, or ra rather, just use uh, a first aid kit on the other, on if you cannot do that. More water here. More ammo. Can we refill the blue water? Good. There is an item here, I believe. I saw. Through the window. Yeah. Yeah, we can mix this at least. I have more bandages on the on the box, I believe. Yeah, this this heal. I believe this is like a full heal. Can I mix it again? No. I believe that heal is like the maximum. Oh, is that a big boy or a zombie? It's a zombie. to knife him down. Oh, he's gonna grab me! Oh, that was very close. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Ah, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, that was good. That was good. Four bullets, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Did he drop something? Okay. Where are we? Man, this map is very confusing. So, we came that way. 
check the greenhouse went around oh now we're here okay cool so we're using that area to my right and then this other area well let me check this this is blocked right Yeah, okay. So that's just the fountain. <clears throat> and here there's another greenhouse. More thumpies. Zombies. Hello? Hello, sir? Yeah, you? I'm still on Jello Kasha. Look at the fireflies. <laughs> They're right in front of the camera. Ooh, he tried. Nice, that was decent. I got beaten, but we didn't waste any bullets. Well, this is a green one right for this guy. Oh, he hit me. Wow, that range, though. The explosion hit me. <laughs> okay. You prefer a pitchfork? It's <laughs> a personal level. I mean, pitchforks are OP, man. It's like a spears. Spears? If the enemy has no armor? The range is always best. Looks like someone who's very ill was staying here. Yeah, look at that all the puke and the, and the bucket next to the next to the bed. This is me when I had COVID. Kappa? I mean, no Kappa, for real. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna heal yet. Like I'm very, very greedy, but it's okay. Yeah. And we got the plenty of ammo. Not plenty, but more than before. <laughs> there was a moment where I literally had zero bullets and I had to go full knife. And we also have some heal, so it's good. Alright, that's there's nothing else here. Unless I can knife this down. Because according to this game's logic, <laughs> bro, this game's logic sometimes. It's very weird. Did you ever play Blood, which draws inspiration from a lot of old school horror flicks? Blood? Is that a game where you use a pitchfork? Oh fuck, I didn't want to go here. This is Garden B. Bro, this game is huge. This game is fucking massive. Let me go back one second. Because I'm not sure. Let me go around the, the, the greenhouse this way. So I came through here. No, yeah, but there's two gates. This is where I came from. But was the camera like this when I came this way? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. So... There is a door. This one. This one is... No, this is... No, no. Yeah, I have to go this way first. Before going to Garden B, we need to finish Garden A. Okay. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? It's like a leaker, man. That is so fucking creepy. Is that thing, man? That is. I don't like that. That's a pukey zombie. I like the var enemy variety. I'm liking the enemy variety. For sure. The door handle is missing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh! 
maybe if we go through the other gate, we will find uh, a safe room or something, or a bot or something to. Bro, for a second, I thought that was like an NPC or something. Oh my god, bro. What? The power of Jesus compels you. Exorcism. I'm still. Man, I have. I ran out of ammo. Blood was the last from the 90s first person shooter era. Bill Engine Duke, Duke 3D. Ooh. I may have seen that game, but I never played it for sure. Oh, there you go. Thank you, game. As soon as I ran out of a shotgun ammo, the game's like, I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> okay, let's kill this lady. Don't charge. Don't charge. Don't you charge. Be a good zombie. Be a good zombie. Oh! It tr <laughs> she tried. She tried. Oh, too close, too close. I'm, I'm risking. You know what? You know what? Fuck you. No! The camera fucked me up. The camera, man. Stay down. Stay down. All right, so we can heal with this now. There you go. That's, that's crazy good. It is the most fun I have had all life back then. Wait. Are you telling me there was a shooter on the 19th online? More heals. Okay, good. Not really, because we just use one for another, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so... We need the handle. For this door. So now we're gonna go through the other gate and get the door handle. I hope there is a... There is a safe room or something soon. But I guess people play that game later on. Because in the 90s? Who had internet in the 90s? Almost no one. So... Uh, there's a portal there. Yeah, I want to go there, but... Oh, look at this guy. So yeah, you need to save ammo for this. <laughs> and knife the rest of the zombies, the normal zombies, I guess. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, these guys. You're so creepy. Two shotguns, they're down. I think it's worth to use shotgun versus these enemies. Many had internet dial up, everyone who had a phone reused phone lines. Maybe in Sweden, but in Spain? I don't know. I remember that they all days but the first time i remember getting like a router on my house and everything it was like late 90s i'll say yeah this place is very dark you can see sheep bro um let me check one more time because i don't trust the corners i don't want to miss anything Ah, whatever. Alright, so for normal zombies, we have to knife. Or you're gonna run out of ammo. For the strong enemies. And then if you get grabbed or beaten, you have plenty of kills. The problem comes... The problem comes... If you try to fight a strong enemy, and then you don't have, you don't have shotgun ammo. That's when the pro problem comes. If you, have to, if you have to fight the strong enemy with a knife... You're fucked. Ooh. 
Ooh, the camera fucked almost got me there. Well, man. Oh shit. There's one guy behind me. One second, I'm gonna read you. That guy's dead. Where did this guy come from? Where am I? Or you visit a friend and hook up your computers in LAN? True. LAN parties. I like how depends on where you shoot him. There's like a visible bullet hit, like a hole on their bodies. I think that's a very cool. Design. Okay. Far angles. Yeah. I really like this game's uh, map design and, and fixed camera angles for sure. They were bloated, yeah. So I checked that building, I'm guessing. Brand. This game is very confusing sometimes because. So I have checked this building, right? No. What? So I checked the one all the way at the end. No. I checked the one on the end. No, I don't know anymore. Man. Yeah, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do, guys? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna leave items here. And I hope I'm gonna retrieve them later. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me double check. So I came through here. No, I didn't come through here. And if I go wait, what? I hear you. The sign on the door says abandon hope all you who enter here. Bro, we just finished Resident Evil Revelations with all the fucking Dante reference, and then they made, in this game they make yet another Dante, the Divine Comedy reference. The chosen one must complete the Odyssey before this path will be unlocked. The chosen one. I'm not the chosen one. Maybe it's Paul. Don't grab me, you motherfucker. Uh, I forgot the strategy about the the crawling thumbies, my bad. You have to go behind them like this. There you go. Try to head bumpy. Oh, there's another one coming. A bloating boy. Man. He's gonna puke on me. He's gonna puke on me! Ah, this pain. It doesn't damage the thumbies surrounding them. Shame. Alright, he's dead. Cool. Good, efficient. I'm gonna say that was efficient. A bow gun bolts. Wait, what? Are we gonna get a bow gun? Like in Resident Evil, like Cold Veronica? That's gonna be fun. We're gonna get a crossbow. Oh shit. Daryl mode. Hell yeah. Let's see if we can find that. What's behind this? A tree. Nice. <laughs> okay, so... We cannot go that way. Cool. Let's go straight. And there's like three green houses in this area. I checked this one, right? Yeah, this one is clean. Clear. Let me double check. And I want to miss a key item and then be lost for half an hour. Okay, so let me check this one. 
because it, oh another one of these guys uh, I don't want uh, this is like a dead end Alicia please nice shot All right, those guys takes four bullets <clears throat> let's see what's in here So this was a heal. And I cannot explore anymore. Yeah, alright, cool. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna go all the way straight because this is yet another dead end, so let's extinguish all the dead ends and then we will go down the path. Wait, what? Never mind, you cannot go here. Man, you sure. Oh, it kind of shows on the map like a black line there on the entrance, but it should show a red. I, I would prefer if it was red, but okay. I, I will try to remember that I cannot go there. <clears throat> Okay, cool. We get the ointments. Let's mix it with uh, this. Uh, let's leave it here. And let's keep going down this path. This is the only way we can go. But right, here we go. How much shot can I have? Five? Okay, I hope that's enough. Okay. Another dead end. More shotgun ammo. A, no a document. Strange phenomenon note. Me and a few others of the initiates are growing concerned with how much time the master is spending with that brat. He's been neglecting our meetings to see about, about improvements on the grounds as well as his normal role of supervising the process of making the brew. We have also noticed a strange phenomenon. The boy has started appearing randomly throughout the mansion. What boy? One moment I was alone in the library cleaning and dusting shelves. Sure, sure that I was alone. The next moment the boy was standing behind me. The air behind him rippling for just a moment before dissipating. Several people have reported this. I know the master has been practicing his magic spell. Building up his strength for when the eclipse, the special night, comes. Is he using that brat as some sort of guinea pig, maybe? Okay. They mention an eclipse, and the whole game has a full moon. So does that mean we're going to see an eclipse on the... I don't know, during the game? On the September 28th, daylight. Hmm, it's locked from the other side, so we have to go around. They're giving us so much heal. So much. That's good, though. Can I break these barrels? No. Well, you can try. It's never bad to try. Bob the ladder. Nope. No jets. Oh shit, I see one of, one of those enemies inside the greenhouse. And another record. Well, we can just leave this here. Take the record. And then we, we can gather everything from the other side. Refill the bottle. I think I'm gonna save. Because I have, I have two save items, I believe. I was complaining that I wasn't getting enough, and now I have two. <laughs> Come fight me. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got the handle, right? The handle was for the greenhouse on Garden A, I believe. Yeah, that's okay. Let's keep going this way. Or should I go back to get the handle done? 
Alright, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, Backtracking time, guys. Or maybe we need something from... Now let's keep going this way. But I don't have much space inventory. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Because maybe I go to the door with the handle and then, and then I need an item that I will find here. You know? So I'm not sure. Oh. Alicia, where are we going? Hello? Okay, she's getting better at aiming. Not missing any shots. That would be cool, right? Like a shooter where the protagonist is not very good at shooting, but as you progress the game, it gets better and better. Realistic. Let's see this guy. Oh, the camera is gonna fuck me over here. Sorry. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh! You hear me. Ooh, you already tried there. We got that zombie down there in the, in the greenhouse. Ah, I think that's enough. Like, I, I like saving ammo, but I don't like it to beat it, you know? I'll take that. We'll probably save there like two or three bullets, I would say. In the long term, in the long run, that's uh. That makes a lot of bullets, you know? Bro, camera. I'm walking this way, thank you. Hmm. There's two thumbies, I believe. Nice. Going fast. Got this arm off. Oh, it's going faster. Oh no. Yeah, I fucked up there. Alright, you know what? Fuck you, mate. <laughs> I have your shit. More shotgun ammo. Oh, can I shoot the barrel? Will it explode? Let's try. There's two thumbies. Will this work? We will see. G baited. G baited red right barrel. Lou, you watch too many movies, kid. Nice. You don't know what's gonna happen with the guy behind this guy? The, the, the shirtless guy, do you know what's gonna happen to him? He's gonna get cheated. Watch. Oh fuck, there's one of those big boys behind me. This is not good. This is not good! Fucking hell. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm getting sandwiched! Fucking hip hop. Boom. Boom, headshot. Shake it like that. Look at this guy. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah. Okay, uh, anything here? Oh, maybe this was an explosive barrel. This one with the. I, I need to try now. I need to try. Sorry. For science. She's not aiming at it though. How about a miss? I think I hit it and it is not explosive. G rated plus two or twice. Oh the puzzle that puzzle is there. Bro, do remember the last stream I was complaining the game was not giving it giving me enough save records? Now we got three in an hour. And last stream, in two hours, I got, like, one. <laughs> like, 
what is that? It's locked from the inside. Okay. This door is green. Oh shit. Fuck you, mate. I'm in caution. Boom. Eight bullets. Eight bullets. Not very good. A lot of thumbs here. <sighs> Should I use a shotgun? Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh wow, he survived. This is not good because the other guy is behind him and he's gonna puke on me. But I want to kill this guy with a knife. I don't have much space, though. I just realized. Yeah. It's gonna appear on me. Fuck, it's getting too close. Whatever. Man. I need four bullets for this guy. Don't miss, Alicia. Don't miss. Okay. We have one bullet. Bro, can, can you let me try to solve the puzzles? I guess not. So it's similar to the other mechanism we saw. I don't know this very spot. Maybe they are connected between them? I'm not sure. So yeah, before we go through this door, let's, let's finish this side. So many zombies in this area. Holy. Closet. Can I change my clothes? They're dirty. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. This is handgun ammo. Oh, they gave me 13, so I can fill it up. I can. Oh, what the hell is this guy? Whew. Scare me, man. Well, my inventory is full now. There's probably a key item around here. But we can always drop stuff on the ground, I guess. Wait a second. I didn't understand that mechanic very well about... Retrieving the items on the soul thingy. Oh no, he's gonna grab me. Oof, that was so fucking close. Can you slow down, bro? No! Oh, dodge the puke to the side, the side step. The side step. No! Fucking camera fucked me again, man. Fucking hell. I really love the fixated cameras, I'm not gonna lie. Got him! Don't fear the Reaper. Evil laugh. Alright, so... Whoa! This place is huge. Wait. Oh! So I'm on the other side. Bro, I have so much shotgun ammo. I don't get the what barrels can you break and which one you can, man. 
Bro, what the hell? Hey, the item placement in this game is really is is what the fuck sometimes. With the ammo and with the saves, both. Oh, we can open this. We unlocked it, so we connect this with the other. Cool, that's very cool because I need to go back to the portal. My inventory is full. Yeah. So we're gonna leave some stuff. Do I have any heals? I don't have any heals on me. I came from here, but we connected the we connected the greenhouse. And now we have two doors. This one or the other one? Uh, I guess I will go this way first. I have no fucking idea where to go. Uh, we are on Corjar B. Okay, so this is gonna connect. Do you see those two doors with the green and the red? Those are doors we open. We couldn't open before because it said it's locked from the other side. So, gatekeeper notes. Who's the gatekeeper note number three? I noticed something very peculiar the other night. Some of the initiates, myself included, have been on high alert after a party of initiates that disappeared a couple of days ago. One of them I knew well. His name was John. A curious bastard he was. He was convinced the master had done some kind of rich store somewhere underground. Had some kind of rich, like, goodies. Uh, where we have heard rumors of a great subterranean chamber existing below the mansion. He tried to talk a group of us into exploring with him, but those of us with any shred of common sense refused, refused his invitation. Last night, as I was making my usual nocturnal rounds, trying to find some answers, I noticed the big brute was nowhere to be found. I walked through, uh, I walked through the cemetery, where I finally saw him walking down a stone path I never noticed before, carrying a full-size coffin. Well... I followed him for some time until we came upon some ancient looking ruins. I dare follow him inside after he barged through a large stone door, while I tried to stay hidden behind pillars and collapsed walls. I noticed he would have gone through a large wooden door deep within the building, disappearing with the coffin. I put my ear to the door, could hear a strange muffled sound from the other side. I waited for an hour to see if he would come back, and was getting ready to leave when he re-emerged without the coffee, and use some thick braid rope to tie the door off. It looked like it led below ground. What, what was he doing down there? What were those terrible noises I heard? Oh god, Jonathan. Wait, is Jonathan John the same guy with the shotgun? Probably. Oh my god! What the fuck are you? Holy god, the Reaper is here! Should I run? I don't think I can kill this guy. Oh, I cannot go back. Oh, maybe this is the guy that we're talking about in the note. About the shadow. Oh, shit. This is scary. Oh, he's coming. He's the Undertaker. What the fuck? This guy's fast and strong. Should I kill, can I kill this guy or should I just run from him? I don't think I can run him. This is Nemesis, man. Everything is blocked. Headshot. Okay, I need more heals for this guy. And I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> Mr. X is coming, for real, man. Did I get him? I'm not sure if I should have run there when he was down. Oh, there you go. Defeat the gatekeeper in the core jar. Gatekeeper key. Let's fucking go. How many shotguns was that? 11? 
11 shotguns. That, that's why they give us so much ammo. Okay, we got him, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Holy shit, man. That was scary. And another record. That's why they gave us so many... That's why they gave us so many saving items. Because the game was like, you better save now. In case you die. So that is the gatekeeper. Who is the key master? Maybe the master? Like, the, the leader? This is more like a... Like a... How do you call it? Yeah, like a follower, like a minion. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. I wasn't expecting that. It was so intimidating. You unlocked it. Uh, so let me go here. We got the blue key, so we can open the blue key, the blue sapphire. So we are back in ruins A. Okay. Um. Let me go. Let me unlock the other door too. Because the other door is closer to. to the other portal and we can save the game. Now I want to save for sure. After killing this guy, I think I did well. I took like two or three hits. Mm, fucking knew it, man. I saw the blood there. I was like, oh, I may die. I, I, I'm actually may die. If I miss the shotgun, man, I will have not taken any damage, but it's okay. Whew. That's why you always carry heal with you guys. They're giving us so much pistol ammo. 40. You unlocked it. Alright, so this goes next to the jello door, right? Where do we move the box? Correct. So that's the yellow door. I see the portal back there. I just hope I don't get a freaking enemy that kills me on the way. Because we haven't been here in a while. And... May, some of those demons may have respawned or something. I have no fucking idea. So don't kill me. Nice. Okay. We have two options. We can go put the handle or we can open the blue sapphire key. Or we can also go to the other door that we didn't go to on the garden B. Going all the way here. I'm sorry I open them as so often, but it, you open it very quick and it helps you refresh the memory very fast. So we use the handle, and this is a this is a small greenhouse, but maybe it has a key item or something. Should I go now? I'll take that. What else? First eight kits. I'll take that. So it's just like extra stuff. Okay. How much water left I have? 60%. Okay, I took a hit though, but we got our first aid kit and we got some shotgun ammo. Plus, we get a note Gardener, Gardener notes. Last night was my first experience with one of the rituals, and I must say it was an intense and harrowing experience. I do not know if what I experienced was hallucination or reality, but some hours after ingesting the full brew, he has his minions brew for him. I began to feel very sick, delirious. I saw several of the cult members turn into unspeakable abominations, like ravenous cannibals who lost all sense of humanity. It was horrifying watching them turn into ravenous humanoid animals. 
I'm not sure if my brew was different from the rest, for my symptoms have been stranger than theirs. I cannot stop vomiting and ended up making a mess over by the corridor. I'll clean it up eventually. I spent all day watering and manicuring the plants while taking turns vomiting strange looking spew into the yard outside, hoping that no one will bother me or that I don't see those unfortunate initiates who drank his fall brew. Maybe this was the guy, because it's the guy there's note. Do you guys remember that, that bed that we saw with the bucket and all the green shit around it? That must, that must have been his bed. As a precautionary measure against this, I have locked the gate with a special key the master has made for me. The master speaks of portals and other worlds, and that this gate will hold the beast back as long as it is not touched by the wrong hands. Now that I mention it, I also remember him saying something about the time is nigh for our domination. The architect will soon be building us a new future. I still, under, I still don't understand all this mighty stuff or these gods he claims to communicate with, but I'll take his word for it. If anyone reads this, I'll be taking the day off to rest. I feel... I feel itchy tasty. He feels itchy tasty, guys. Alright, so... There was really no point coming here. I mean... The architect. I, think, I believe that's the first time they mentioned that. Okay, so let's go through the other door. Uh, oops. Wait. This door. Okay. I'm gonna leave this on the ground. I'll leave it closer to the portal just in case. So there is two gates here and one red too. Okay. So I'm gonna go through the through the greenhouse. Hmm, I don't remember which door we will open, but in the place that we killed the gatekeeper, there was a door that we didn't go through. So we need to keep that in mind. And here I have to go outside through here. And uh, there is a portal here, I believe, right? No. Wait, this is close. Okay. And then. Okay. Is this the door where I fought the, 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 the gatekeeper? It sure is. So, should I go through that one or should I go the other way? I want to check the other one too. All the way down here. All the way down, all the way down this path. Oh, what the fuck are you? What the hell is that thing? Holy shit. Oh, is that... What the hell? Maybe this is the, the guard there, actually. They did. So tanky. Bro, how many bosses am I gonna have to fight? This guy is strong, man. He's zooming.
Is it dead? Nope. I have a lot of pistol ammo, that's why I'm using it. But you know what? I'm fucking tired of you, mate! Bro, this guy's tankier than the gatekeeper. Oh! Headshot. Put an end to the gardener spreading the infection. Nice. So this was the gardener. And he's not gonna spread the infection anymore. That means... Uh, There is no more uh, bloating zombies. Okay, well, <laughs> I think I did this in that fight. I think I got hit once. And another one, a shipment. <laughs> I'm having fun playing this game. I didn't know what to expect from it, but very good so far um oh what the hell uh i'm gonna try one one shotgun and then pistol the rest camera don't screw me over all right nice because i feel like two shotguns for these guys is starting to become an overkill so far, okay, I'm not, I'm not giving a, a, a definitive review so far of the game, but so far, as I far I got to this game yet, I feel like the graphics, the atmosphere is very good, but the items placement is all over the place. The puzzles are okay -ish. And the combat is a bit cheesy sometimes, with the zombies very, very slow and then launching at you suddenly and not having time to really react to that. But uh, the enemy variety is very cool. I will give it that for sure. All right, so, first time we're going here. This is this is the graveyard, and this is yet another huge map. Holy shit, man! Yet another huge map. This game is three times reasonable one remake size. Insane how many areas and how big they are. Looks like this fountain hasn't been used in ages. The water looks stagnant, full. Bandage. This llama. Well, if we can open the... You have used the gatekeeper key. It's discarded. There you go. I just wanted to get rid of the inventory space. Alright, so we open this, but I'm not gonna go here yet. So I'm gonna go back, but at least we know we use the key and we know what the key was for and we don't have to use it anymore. So I'm gonna go back to where we fought the gatekeeper. And sorry for all the back and forth, but I'm playing the best way my my experience tells me, you know. Um if we, if we find some shotgun ammo soon, that'll be nice. I have a lot of shotgun ammo on my... On the storage box, but I don't want to go back there. I'm gonna leave this heal here. I'm playing a bit too greedy. Look at this. Ah, I think we're fine. Ah. We're fine. <laughs> too cokey. No, seriously, if I have like a boss fight now, I will have no ammo. Plus, not having the knife, especially. Um, yeah, I'll just run out of ammo and just die. Let's see what's in here. What's he? What's he feeding that creature for some reason? Now right, let's go here. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm very glad I came here. We're gonna go to the portal. There we go. 
I'm expecting... Actually, I'm going to grab the knife. Because I'm expecting a lot of normal zombies on the graveyard. And we're going to need to save ammo. Here we go. To the graveyard. Oh, man. You guys know, graveyard always sounds like a scary place to be at. Especially playing a zombie game, you know? <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so we open that door from the other side. Here we go. I'm expecting... Strong enemies. Oh, fuck. How much water I have left? About 40? 20. I need to find a blue fountain, guys. I don't remember where they are. I remember there was one on Garden A. Hmm. Okay, that meth kit we left there intentionally. In case we need to heal with a cube without the storage box. You scrap your time. I take this very slow. I already see thumbs. Yeah, there's a lot. There is a lot. Maybe I should have bring an extra heal for this. I have the camera that's gonna screw me over. Yeah, if you fight next to a camera switch and you walk one direction and the, ca the game's like, no, you're going the other direction. Sucks. That was risky there, you see? It's okay. He was one hit, man. Oh, I'm in caution now. Hmm. I cannot risk getting beaten again, so... We're gonna not beat so really. Am I dropping frames again? Atmosphere. Mm, this guy got knocked down twice. Ooh, he tried. Look at the shots on his body, you can see them. Nice. It's not over, still more. Look at this place, so creepy. So creepy, love it. The crows.
Something coming out of the coffin. Yeah. What is this? Okay. Dogs. I hear a dog. I hear a dog. Yeah. And two more thumbs at least. Maybe three. Oof, there's a lot of thumbs here. Let's finish him with the knife. I hope I don't get beaten after all this ammo. But he must be like two or three knives to die. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, no. Ooh, I'm glad he puked. Do they puke if they have no arms? Ooh, he tried to grab it there, though. Okay. Holy shit, that guy was tanky. Not sure. Do they do these zombies HP change as we pros the game? Because they seem tankier sometimes. Oh, there's a dog. Bro. One hit away, always. Always one hit away. It sucks. I'm gonna cut his arm. You really tried. Where are you going, man? Look at this Tommy model. Come back here. Don't grab me. Oh. Okay, you know what? This guy is fucking. <laughs> I shoot him on the ass. <laughs> oh, I missed. Come on, Alice. Ooh! A shot. That's the first time I pop ahead with a pistol. Even a pistol can do it, yeah. If you, like, you have to aim. That's the thing. Like, do you see how I'm aiming? It's a cool thing. I really like that about this game. Like, you are like this, and you can, like. You see? Bro, 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 bro. You're gonna be too fast, man. Thumbies kind of lose you here. They, they stop aggroing you for some reason. No! Oh! The thriller! I'm gonna get past him. That was very risky. And then I'm gonna kill it this way. There you go. Clean drop, mate. Bro, how many thumbs have we killed? I mean, it's a graveyard. It makes sense. Okay. Mm. Ah. Okay, so there's a door here. What is this called in English? Like a, the small underground grave you can go? Like a... I don't know how it's called. Uh, that looks like a mini boss. And a note and an item. Tomb B. It's a tomb. Where Lara Croft. A crypt. Mm, I don't know. It has like a name. Like a bus. Something bus? Wait, what? What did he say? You can't leave items here. Okay. Look at this guy. 
Here, I need this. Okay, let me go outside, drop something outside, and then get this shit. And fight this guy. The problem with fighting this guy here is that he's very fast. And there is no space. So it's gonna catch up. But maybe I can get the item and get the fuck out, you know? <laughs> so... If I don't have to fight him, why would I fight him? Oh, let's read the note first, because I think it's gonna wake up when I get the item. So I'm gonna get the note, read the note, and then get the item, and then try to leave. But maybe it will be like the Crimson Zombie on, on the crypt of Resident Evil, and this door was close, this one. So, we'll see. A Holy Water note. Hello, Shadow Wrath. Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Uh, uh, I went to have dinner before when I, when Fred was streaming, and he ended the stream. I guess did he die or something? I don't know. <laughs> because he ended so suddenly. Hello, we're playing Demoness. Uh, I usually play a variety. I have a lot of games, huge backlog. And I, I like playing them all, kind of. Uh, yeah, we're going through this Resident Evil clone called Demoness, and I'm liking it so far. I think we play. We are like six hours into the game, five, six hours now. And I believe we are not even half half uh half done the game, so it's a long game. <laughs> uh let's read this note. Uh me and a group of other initiates were ordered to help clean up the church and prepare it for the next ceremony today. A strange thing occurred while we were in there, setting up the ceremonial chalice from which the free will be served from that sort of business. Fellow initiate Lance had went down to the basement level to see if we could find some more candles and pews with which to bring up and increase the seating capacity of the main room. He told us that he had found a room down there with a strange looking golden pillar with a bowl filled with water along with some books. We all went down to investigate and I recognized at once what it was. Prior, prior to answering, Lord Alfred Scalin, I was practicing Catholic. And as, a, as such, have seen the inside of many churches prior to my pilgrimage to the Master's Island. Yeah. What are you playing lately? Are you playing, are you doing like Resident Evil's uh, challenge runs, like no hits or speed runs or something? What are you playing lately? Or are you trying other games too? Because I know, we all know each other from Resident Evil, but... <laughs> uh, also, by the way, the note before we found this about drinking the brew and seeing uh, like tripping basically like hallucinating cool alicia have bring like drink that brew and now everything we're seeing now is like a hallucination i play survival games and anything mmo what survival games there's a lot of survival games anything mmo i don't play mmos not my thing I don't mind multiplayer, but when it's multiplayer and there's like a lot of people, I mean, I guess Arma 3 counts, <laughs> but not like Final Fantasy 14 or World of Warcraft or nothing like that. What I saw when I went down there was a baptiser, baptistry with, uh, with what uh, was unmistakably a holy water font. It looked ancient, perhaps from the 16th or earlier. The Bibles I found down there were incredibly rare versions. I was shocked, thinking surely the master will have removed all such instances of heresy in his church. When we informed him of the room, he exploded in anger, almost seeming ashamed that we had found it. He refused to leave his chamber to investigate, instead ordering a team of us to board up the room. I have never seen such a strong emotional response from him before. Interesting. Uh, Project Thomboid, R, Conan Exiles. Oh, look, watch this guy. It's not up. Okay. Okay. A friend of mine told me to play Perk Thumboid, but I'm not sure it will be my thing. I, it looks fun though, but I'm not sure. An arc? Man, it's crazy arc still like active. I, I, I really like dinosaurs and stuff, but I don't like the, the developers of arc, if I'm honest. And Conan, I don't know much about it. I know there's like naked people going around with dingus. Flapping puzzle games. I'm very dirt, but it's all about trying. 
the upper half of a mysterious key upper half okay well let's try to let's try to find the other half I'll say I, I really love puzzle games, but I understand sometimes it's, it's very demanding, mentally wise, and it melts your brain. But if you don't mind, not all the time, of course, because that kills the spirit of the game. But if you don't mind checking a hint here and there, I find it very interesting. Okay, there is a lot of zombies here. Should I take it slow or should I just do this? It's just so satisfying. The only problem with doing that is like, I know I'm gonna run out of ammo, so I, I like to be inefficient and use my knife. I know it's fucking boring, because I need to like, hit back, hit back, hit back, but it, it is, it is what it is. Do you have like a, do you have like a clan? Because when you play Ark or Conan, you must have like a group of friends or or did you make the group of friends within the game? Or you had them before, starting the game, and then you decided to play the game together? You know what I mean? Also, I'm sorry for my bad as English, especially when I'm reading those notes, because I know my accent is very, like, Spanish. And, yeah, it's hard to understand me sometimes. Sometimes I even watch my, my, my replay or something, when I'm editing the videos, and I'm like, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I'm, like, mumbling, you know? Because I try to speak too fast. I have had the mindset of a golden retriever. I get distracted easily. Well, then maybe it's good to train, but this that's all a matter of like... Let me pause again. That's all a matter of like... It's like meditation. Let's say I never did meditation or yoga or whatever, and then I try to start doing it. Like I create the habit as a healthy uh, activity. At the beginning, my brain is going to be like ADHD. It's going to be like... Nah, blah, blah, blah all the way but the more you do it it's like just you learn it's like a skill you learn you know so i feel like any person can play any game in my opinion. obviously you're gonna enjoy more one or another that's a matter of taste but as they as the capability to do it i believe in you like if you want to try them now if you want to try them if you have like a like a something telling you that you should try those games don't be afraid don't be afraid that's what i'm trying to say trying to encourage you to try not force forcefully Boom! last shot i was in the corner i was like <laughs> i play alone on mod servers i don't i don't have actual friends to play with anymore uh -huh. i feel you man it's just like sometimes you meet a group of friends, you play games, and then everyone continue their lives. They get a job, they get a wife, they start getting kids, you know. <laughs> it's locked. There is a strange symbol here. I mean, it looks a lot like this, right? Not really. But I mean, it has the two circles on the bottom. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave that there. No, I'm not gonna leave it because if I find the other part, we'll combine it. It's okay. But what have have you not tried to 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 like? Have you tried, for example, you launch Conan or Ark, and you can join public servers, right? Have you not tried doing that and then meeting someone within those servers? I know it's hard sometimes. You need to like connect. You need to have chemistry. I know, but it's worth a shot. I met I met many people playing randomly online, you know. But if you want to play like mod servers alone and do your own thing, having your own dinosaurs and shit, I understand that too. So no one, no one can ruin it. No one can be like, oh, I'm gonna kill you, shit. Now all your work was for nothing, haha. <laughs> you know, like rust. But I feel that's part of the game, though. Bro, why is this burn guy? Why is this guy burn? Oh, the camera is fucked. You know what? Fuck you, mate. Fucking shot in the face. 
I join public servers, but I don't meet other players right away. Yeah. It has to be like that 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 spark, you know? Like you are randomly walking around. And other random guys walking around. And you just start fucking trolling and laughing and doing random shit. <laughs> Happens. Uh wait. What? This is locked. There's a lot of thumbs here. Back to the knife. Depends on the servers. Yeah, like there are servers more for like. Is there is there arc roleplay servers? Is that a thing? Or all arc servers are like or like Conan? Are there more like try hard servers and then there's always like more shit, more like PvE, people like being more friendly and shit. More like PvE Oh! I thought I was gonna get here there. No! Right, I got hit there for sure. I need to kill this guy before that other one gets here. Come on, Diamond. I made that here. I'm gonna heal. Ooh, that was close. Bro, this guy has no chill. How tanky are you, man? Holy shit. Oh, there are ARC RP servers and PvP servers, but I mostly like the relaxed servers. I get you. I get you. I like both. I like both. I like servers where... Like, I, I used to play Arma 3, okay? Arma 3. RP server. But the RP server I used to play with in was fucking wild. It was like war. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Like, there were a lot of RP rules. That you had to rope play. Ooh, that was close. Good try, man. But there was uh, you could get robbed anywhere. There were no green areas. That sir was always full. There were there were like conflict zones, conflict areas. There were like clan um, clan wars at certain times of the day. I'm very glad you died because I was gonna get a delicious sandwich. She's looking at the barrel. At least she's looking at the barrel like she wants to break it. And I'm here trying to kill a zombie. Man, the, the gun... The gun shots in this game are so satisfying. I, the, the, the sound. Bro, stop missing! The game warned you at the The game warned you at the beginning. Alicia is not a is not a, a fighter. She's not a professional. She doesn't know how to use guns. <laughs> you can tell, man. She fucking misses so much. It's like when you play XCOM, and the enemy is like two meters away from you, and it's like, well, you have a twenty four chance to hit the enemy. I'm like, bro, my fucking gun is in your face. <laughs> like, how? Uh, I see how armor servers are, but they. To me, tend to be too much. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I, I remember days playing Arma. You go to the shop, you equip that, you spend like a lot of money, hard to earn money, and then someone comes, hands up, hands up to die, hands up, they they steal everything from you, and if you do, if you don't comply, they kill you. And it's like, okay, cool, because there's a lot of like, yeah, like people messing around and not trolling, trolling. I mean, there's some trolls for sure, but then there's a lot of people who are like. Crackheads, literally crackheads, and <laughs> they're like, you can tell they have like, yeah. Anyways, there's a message here. It says the angels will protect our sick, our sick, uh, I can't speak, sacred place from this evil. Our angels. So maybe I need to place an angel here. Let's remember that. Graveyard, top, angel. Okay, let's remember that because. You know what happens? Two hours later into the game, I get an angel statue and I'm like, where the fuck did this go? What do I do with this? Well, that's what you do with it. You put it there. There's a message here. It says, the greater evil will always exist. No one can stop me for I am death inescapable. <laughs> it's Satan. Uh, Alright, let's go. Cool. Okay, so we need to place different things here. There's a message here. It says, 
Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Is that Socrates? Plato? It sounds very philosophical. There's a message here. It says, light has nowhere to hide in the dark. So maybe this is a riddle. Because there is like light, darkness, evil, and angel, right? So there is light, dark, good, and bad. Or, yeah. Simplified, okay? Simplified from my almond brain. But, well, if we cannot do shit there, that means we have to go down and left. Yeah. What the fuck? There's a dog here? There's two dogs. Alicia, where are you looking at? She was looking at the crow. <laughs> the dog is trying to run to me. Look at it. Look at it. Oh! Fucking stop! Stop it! <laughs> ah! I bear it back, no problem. Shadow. Thank you for the chats, though. Very interesting. Gr can I have a grenade, game? Can I have a fucking grenade? Was that a collateral? Well, that's two down. <laughs> that's two down. That's three down. I think I think that was a very good use of a shotgun there. Because I think I damaged them all. Yeah, he tried. Cut his leg off. I mean, his arm. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him. Oh! Oh! More hand gun. I'm loving the headphones, boys. So, they have like this new religion, but they have to uh, reject all the Christian stuff, but they still have some... Is that a fucking wolf? That is not our normal dog. I'm not sure. It seemed like more hairy or something. Haiti. There's one more dog. Look, it's burning. Oh, yeah. You motherfucker. Yeah, I think that's worth it. I have no heals. I'm gonna go back with the heal. Did I use one? Look at this guy broken in half. Lul. Look at that guy without a head. Look how many fucking things I'm killing in this graveyard area. Wait, it's not this way. I need to go back where I pick up the health key thingy. Okay, let's get the heal here. There you go. So I feel if I get hit one more time, I go into orange caution. And that's scary territory without having a healing dude. Because that means one or two hits and you're dead. Basically. Okay, so there's... How many doors are here? One or two? More ammo. Yeah, let's go here first. Maybe we can open one of those hatches. The blue hatches on the map that were locked from the inside. We we'll probably have to open them from the bottom, right? I don't like this place. Tomb A. This place looks like a trap or something. It looks like spikes or a rock falling or something. I don't know. It's giving me really bad vibes. This reads like a warning. Whoever there disturbs my tomb shall die here in these walls. The earth will tremble and weep 
as a rise from the dead. Exactly what I was saying. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna go. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna the, the next time I save, I'll come back come back here the first thing. And if I die, I'll just reload. So I don't lose anything. But I want to save first because if I die now, I'll have to redo all the graveyard. And I don't wanna do that. So let's go here. Where are we going now? Dark forest, bro. This game is fucking massive. How many areas are in this game? Let's go to the port. Oh. So I found me. It's running. There's another one coming. Bro, they should stop missing. Let's kill everything we can. <laughs> you fucking jitters, guys. Holy shit. The shotgun sound is so good, too. And you can, when you shoot, the controller vibrates. What the fuck was that noise? Is the forest alive? The trees are moving. Do you know what? Like I said, like I said, just now, I'm gonna save, go back to that tomb, and if I die, it's okay. <laughs> you know? I have three records, so I can uh, I can allow myself to... to use one. And one, two, and three. Small heal. Three small heals. And what be one there? Oh, the, this ointment I'm gonna pick. And um, yeah, we'll use it with this. Whatever. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm gonna wait for to get a bigger here, actually, because I don't want to be carrying a seal that it does not gonna. I fully heal me, let's say. But I'm gonna save, and we're gonna go back to two. I maybe already writing too much, but I don't think I'm gonna reload a previous save. I think I'm doing great. If I had a bad fight or something at some point, sure. We all we already listened to that song, so I'm not gonna. Every time there's a new song, I will listen to it. But if we already listen to it, then no. Okay, here we go. We will die. Will 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 we die on the tomb A? Maybe I need like a key item to survive. Maybe I need that piece of paper. Who knows? Let's just fucking go. I'm gonna die 100 percent I'm gonna die. That warning on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Like I'm telling you, it looks like a trap or something. But there's items there. Don't disturb. There is a guy in the coffin. A known source note. Translation unavailable. Anyone in chat knows what to what? Journal of Dr. Arnold updated. Oh.
boy. it because I just say if I die now I'll just reload and retry but if I go in in danger then I will heal but I, I will risk it yeah, we got him fuck you mate we probably need that piece of paper that note for something right oh he dropped something too oh half of the key so we need it we need it to come here right, good. I'm gonna still heal because the the battle is finished Another one to be running around in orange caution. Yeah, I think that was okay. I was just saving the heal in case I got beaten again by that guy. Then, you know? Yeah. Alright. So we got the other half of the key. Oh. Now all the thumbs start waking up. Thriller style. Hey, did I go this way? Yeah. All right, so... Let's get the other half of the key. And we're gonna go come back and open that red door. I'm guessing... I'm guessing we can open this with this key. I'm not sure, though. What is that thing? What is that thing? Do you know guys do you guys know what that reminds me of? Do you guys know this movie called what was this movie called man? The one where like giant roaches try to imitate humans and they're like mimic I think it's called mimic. Could it be called mimic? It looks like a fucking human giant roach. Or maybe it's like a zombie carrying a coffin. Yeah, I think it's that actually. Nice. So there's new enemies. Just like, just as I was saying, we clear the area. Do you have used the church key? This one. Yeah. Also, oh, I have to use it more times. More than once. Did you go down the trap door? No. Darkest medallion. All this blood. My god! What the hell happened here? Is this some kind of sacrificial altar? I mean... Who, who could be so cruel as to actually crucify someone? What if Alicia is the master? <gasps> what the? Were they using her body to ring the bell? Got him. What? Oh. Ah. Radiate stackness. So. Let's go down here. But I'm gonna climb back up. As soon as I. Yeah. I don't have the map for this area. I don't want to be here, if I'm honest with you. I don't have a map for this area, so we need to... This is like a catacombs. So it looks like a maze. Many directions, so we need to keep track of everything. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, we use the church key again. Bro! She revived. I mean, she's a zombie. What did you expect, bro? Got him. Man, aiming, aiming makes a huge difference. I think it depends on what body part you hear the zombie, you do more or less damage. But the, your risk, if you aim to the head, you risk missing because the head is a lot smaller than the chest, right? That's why usually people aim for the chest to guarantee the, sh the hits. Oh, so we are in this small backyard. Graveyard. Graveyard backyard. We have a safe. We have those guys. 
first aid kit with Helen. I wonder how tanky is this, are these guys. How many are there? Oh, these guys are fucking creepy. We'll try the first one with the shotgun. Should I even kill them? Oh fucking hell! Oh, the other one's coming too. Oh fuck! Oh no! It's it's fucking Lisa. It's Lisa. <laughs> yeah, this guy seems very slow. This seems very slow, so I think we can kill it with a pistol. Oh, whoa, whoa, they're sprinting. They get that shit. I want to see their face. They look so creepy. Yeah, they slow and then they go fast. Bro, what the fuck is that face? Is that a mask? Yo, I'm loving this game's enemies design. The, the whole enemy design has give what whatever you write this game by the end one point alone just by the enemy design that is crazy i think a lot of resident evil fans can agree that resident evil needs more enemy variety not in the games that have like spiders and a lot of animals but i'm i'm talking about in terms of like type of types of bombies oh this guy is so fucking tanky Well, I think I just fucked up wasting all this ammo. They don't give you anything, so I should have just run. It's okay. You are a motherfucking bitch. Game. I have no water. Well. He's gonna revive. I just wasted two shotgun ammo. Oh, we can get out of here. I need the knife, man. I need the knife. There is like three barrels there I can break. I was talking about. Eh, I need the knife. And, uh. So fucking troll. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back, get the knife, and get back there, get those items. I'm not gonna care about the enemies. Yeah, let's get the barrels. There's gonna be this enemy, right? With the, 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 the ghoul over here, right? We're gonna, we're gonna try to juke him. Let's get the others two first. Yeah. So one no, one yes. Two yes! Shotgun ammo and darts. Oh yeah, cool. That's very good. That was a lot of shotgun ammo. And then this guy's gonna spawn. I get this. We're gonna hit. We're gonna shut that uh, ammo. One hit for a clip. I think that's worth it. I think that's worth it. I need to refill my blue waterman. Oh, there's a note there on the ground. <gasps> note about dark ones. Page taken from the Diabolist Compendium, a collection of chaos magic based spells. What? Part 4. The essence of soul and how to control it. In order to ensure an eternal connection that can be summoned through dimensions, the soul host must pledge total alliance to the benefactor you, in whatever dimension you naturally reside in. What? Once the host has pledged their alliance and verbally sworn their loyalty, a blood oath must be made. With the benefactor's blood, a goon making contact with the host. While the goons are married, the blood must flow together into the Enchant Chalice, which will be engraved with a Third Order Enslavement spell. See Part 5, Enslavement Spare and Enchantment Spell. So basically, you're like linking to making one the host and making the other the, the slave or the benefactor, whatever that thing is called. For once the chalice is full, the host's life must be taken as quickly as possible, with as little trauma as possible to ensure the soul completely leaves the host's corporal vessel. 
This must be done by the benefactor's hand to ensure the connection remains through life and death. The benefactor must then mix in either one of two herbs in powder form. Psilocybe, cyanessence, or Echinopsis peruviana, or any mescaline containing cacti. Cacti? Okay. The mixture, this mixture must be consumed by the benefactor within 20 minutes of the host's death for the connection between worlds to be successful. When performed correctly, the benefactor will be able to summon the host in the form of a tulpa. See part 3, mental health and mental and physical manifestations, which can operate in a limited fashion in the benefactor's dimension. Most common manifestations is human-shaped forms comprised of ectoplasm or fifth-dimensional dark matter. 8. One must use caution when piloting their tulpas in a completely physical dimension. Their forms have been known to be vulnerable to certain enchanted items and materials imbued with the blessings of high-ranking clergymen, such as genuine holy water. It is important to know that this spell will not work if the benefactor has not already consumed the blood of a blessed one. The blood of the blessed one, as well as any survivor, surviving paternal or maternal lineage, must be consumed in order for this chaos magic spells to be activated successfully. What? Alright, so you can have like demon puppets manifesting into the world and I'm doing shit for you. Alright, cool. Uh. Ah. I can go down here, or I can go to the dark forest. Or I can call it for today, but I want to keep going, to be honest. I'm in caution. I have a heal. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going down here. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to connect with the other trapdoors we've seen around. So, right, let me see. Down the stairs, we'll take a right. Yeah, we'll take a right. I'm going to take the fucking shotgun. Right. Yeah, the game is gonna like connect with everything now. Watch. We're gonna appear somewhere we have been before, right? Right? I don't think so. Oh yeah, it's where. Wait. No. No, we never been here. This is a dark forest, but it's a different side. Oh, yes. Oh, that's big. We refill the holy water. A note here. Gatekeeper notes. Bro, I'm kind of thirsty. I need to drink. It's so much reading. Who is the gatekeeper note to? Despite being told repeated times by the senior initiates not to inquire about the gatekeeper to Lord Alfred, this seems to be a sensitive subject among the inner circle. I have found myself unable to get him out of my mind. So I have resorted to leaving my room at night and exploring the boundaries of the Fog Island, particularly around the graveyard. I notice that he emerges from the old run-down shack of a building that is kept out, of, out there. Surely that is not where he, surely that is not where he sleeps. If he sleeps at all, he, ro he roams the grounds at night, disappearing beyond the boundaries of the property, moving with that same gla glacial slowness. I have seen him live through the swamps before, taking the rickety old boat through there. Ooh, that's like the boat that brings us here. He's the only one I have seen cross the swamp. The strange noises and dangerous myths about the bog land doesn't seem to perturb him at all. Despite watching from the cover of trees and bushes, surely out of sight, I can't help but get the feeling he knows I'm there, watching him, yet he doesn't seem to care. That is very fucking cool. The gatekeeper is such a fucking badass so far. Holy shit. Uh, let's go back to the tunnel. <laughs> I, I would rather explore the, the black forest from the from the upper area. But wait, wait. It showed it showed like black lines. Does that mean it's blocked? <gasps> Ooh, that may be it actually. What about this way? Shoot. 
Do, 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 do. What are we? Garden B. Hold on, let me remember this. Okay, I know where. On the greenhouse shirt, I think. Okay, this is where we kill the the gardener, right? Yeah. Did this symbol change? No, it didn't change. Okay, so this connects here. We don't. We, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, we don't want to be here or do anything here, so. Let's go back. I'm gonna go down the middle corridor, and that is gonna take us probably back to. Yeah, look at this. You are here. Holy shit, this place is fucking huge. So, four, six is where we enter, church area, and then we went to four. East passage, seven is west passage, and then five is south, and then there's a B1 and a B2. Okay, according to this map. Well, let's go here. Take me like back to the beginning. To the courtyard. Ruins, eh? Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is more like it. Okay. Then I'm gonna leave this on the ground. Is there any puzzles we can do here now that we progress through the or through the other area? I don't think so. Still, everything is still the same. And it sucks that these trapdoors are not near portals, you know? They are near safe spots, sure. But no portals. But it's okay, the cool thing now is that we unlock them and we can go back here, whenever we want. And we can go from like, beginning courtyard area to end dark forest area, kind of. Very quick. Very cool fast travel area. So we're just gonna go back and do the dark forest now. Holy. Hello, man. They're welcome. <laughs> I almost ended the stream though, but you may watch the last few minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go this way. We need to find three more medallions for the that riddle with the light and the darkness and blah blah. Yeah, welcome, how are you? Good to see you. Is it this way? Yeah. It's very tired. It's 12.25. Been playing for two hours and a half. Today I didn't get stuck a single time. To be honest, this part of the game has been pretty straightforward. Not many puzzles. Just a lot of combat and a lot of new areas. Not the uh, puzzles. Oh, we could go there. Um, sure. Let's go through here. There is dogs here, so let's be careful. I have a heal me. Yes. Here we go. Okay, that takes us where we open the trap door. Yep. So we don't have to go that way. Let's kill the zombies. Let's kill the zombies. Hey, you, mate. Yeah, you. I need to start saving ammo. I'm gonna start doing one hits because when I try to do two hits, I feel like the game, the, the, they're so close that it triggers the launch. So, oh. That was close. No, I fucked up. Oh, that was too close. And then this guy must be close to that. He's gonna shoot him. Yeah. Critical hit. Mm. 
Oh, you see? He tried. No! Oh, that was close. Oh! I'm positioning myself so bad. Oh, there you go. Must be close to die. Fucking die, mate! Holy shit. Today I felt pretty tired. Are you feeling better from the sickness? Tell me the other day you were a bit sick. Nice. Full knife, no damage. Pretty tired. I guess you're like stunning a lot and stuff. I will look forward to a good night's sleep today. Sir, you deserve all the rest you get. Thank you for stopping by, though. Do you have good food? At least. There's a freaking car here. I mean, car. Like, you guys are wearing. I did have an exam today. How did it go? How did it go? She's aiming at the fucking crows. The crows are flying very low, so can they hit me? They may be hit me. The, the, the crows may hit me, actually. Yeah. Oh, bro! Come on, I thought that shit. Wait, did I not heal? Wait, what? Oh, I went from orange to yellow. I didn't fully heal. Whatever. I ate heavy at lunch. So it's normal. There you go. So you ate a lot. Do have a lot of energy. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to complete it fully, but I did. Yeah, boy. Determination. Nice. So it went better than I expected. Very, very happy to hear that, man. Because I know you've been struggling lately with like. Not passing some exams, GG Jetta. Um, whenever you tell me you had a good exam, oh, you had a good exam, makes me happy, you know. You die, man. <laughs> when these portals appear out of nowhere, it's kind of spooky, huh? Bros, shut the fuck up. They hurry. They shut up. They're not cacao anymore. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. Fuck you. What the fuck? Alright. Uh, I'm on orange. I need to. I need to. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm going back. And there's more dogs. I'm going back. I'm scared. I have no heals. I don't want to die. I hear more zombies. This game is too scary. Man. Oh shit, the dog is following me. Not today, man. Not today, mate. Nice. Bro, this game is growing on me, guys. This game is growing on me. Oh. Yeah. I want to finish the dark forest. So I'm going to heal. Go back, finish that area, come back here and save. And then I will call it again. So, first eight. And small heal. I'm saving the ointment for like a bigger a bigger heal, you know? But this is good for like small injuries. Right, let's keep going. I didn't want to risk it. Playing smart. If you die, overall, overall, if you die, you will lose more time than if you play safe, like I'm doing, I think. Because if I die now, for example, I'll have to repeat the last 20 minutes. And that's a lot more than backtracking two minutes. So, yeah. There is a shack there. That's the shack that we're talking about. And then let's finish. Wait, what? I, I, no, no, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. 
Don't go this way. Wait, I'm lost. This way. There you go. To the car. To the car. So there is one more thumb or one more dog. Nothing on the car. Let's kill this lady thumbie. These crows are... <laughs> I'm trying to knife them. I cannot hit them. Oh, what a fucking... They hit me, though. The crows hit me. I got one. This camera is kind of far, you know? Uh oh. Oh! Yeah, I knew. I knew that was gonna happen. You have to hit them maxim maximum distance with a knife. And then go back. That was great. Because I've tried to hit them twice with a knife a lot of times, and they just... Very risky. Fucking crows, man. Alright, so there's a house here. Before entering the house, let's go around. Let's go around the house. It, that house looks very like a witch house, you know, like very creepy. And gun ammo and bro, where is the freaking bolt? Where's the crossbow? Give me the crossbow! Once I get the crossbow, I'm gonna look so badass. Look at this truck here. Holy. So this goes there. Okay, I don't wanna go there yet. Let's go to the house. No, oh, look at the fucking scarecrow. It looks so cool from behind. Look at that. Camera, please. Camera, please. Yo, that looks so cool. Does that have anything? Oop. Can I break these barrels? Oop. Oh, let's go this way. Spooky house time. This guy's so alive. Sir, he's like wearing good clothes and shit. This guy's so when I wake up. <laughs> Storage room, huh? Oh, the crossbow's there. Let's fucking go. I want to try it out. I'm going to kill all these zombies when they wake up on the crossbow. Let's just do the damage. Can I cut his arm? He's bleeding. <laughs> nah, I think you have to take it first. This lock mechanism needs to be sprung in order to get the bolt. Oh! G bait it. Oh god. Do I even want to know what they were eating? Almost looks like the same food I saw in the mansion. It's like Resident Evil 7 reference. Welcome to the family. A nail shut window. The owner must have hated the sun. <gasps> Bro, there's like fucking roots coming from the ceiling. Hello? Who is this guy? Uh, Mike Magatagan. Eric Satie. Oh, uh, Mike Magatagan is the guy who performs the song, but the composer is Eric Satie. Give him the PV number one. Well, we cannot get the crossbow yet. We need uh, something to unlock the mechanism. There's so many fucking zombies in this house. Gatekeeper journal. Enter one. Every day is an exercise in pain. Every day I feel what has made me human slip away. With his presence, I will file in the boat instead. I try to think about my family. What my sons looked like. Who they were even were. Yet the me their memory is obscured by images of that brat. The chosen one. His chosen one. His will is my command. 
and his will is to protect the chosen one at all cost. So does it have to do with that boy that was appearing and disappearing? Does it have to do with the ethereal souls connecting to each other? Are they bound? Are they like master and apprentice or enslaved to each other? I have no idea. How long will I be able to have control of my own thoughts before he takes control of my whole consciousness? That's what I was talking about. I chose this faith. I swore my loyalty to him. Yet there is something deep inside that tells me I made a mistake. That feeling grows smaller with every hour that passes over. For his control over me grows stronger by the minutes. I shall be grateful, for he has blessed me with a new son. This son is quite large and dwells beneath the earth. His long semected body is controlled by the same energy that now coordinates my movements and invades my thoughts. He is ravenous, and he shall feast upon the heretics of traitors of the masters. I must go now, for he calls. His great mouth yearns for those who dare defy his will. Fog Island is my home now, and we are all prisoners. Bro. Some notes in these games are goofy, and another one are very good. And this one was a good one. A nail shut window. The owner must have ate the sun. Okay. I can feel cold radiating from the flames. This must be some kind of supernatural fire. Did they use it for something? Probably some fucking skeleton on the bed. I should get out of here. <laughs> okay, Alicia. Okay. So you go into a house. You see a skeleton on the bed. And you, your first comment is, I should get out of here. I mean, sure. Fair enough. Oh. It's like a date. AD. Probably refers to Anna Domini, the year before the lore. Do you want to activate the portrait mechanism? No. Ah. Wait. What was that file that we found? With the... Uh... I forgot. Too many notes, too much really. Let me just go very quick through them. No. What was that note that we found with those numbers, like here? Because I need to put four numbers. So it's like a year. I don't fucking know. Mm, where did I see that, man? An old grandfather clock. Okay, back to the puzzles. Storage room. Ah. Okay. Gramophone. Hmm. Should I save here and call it for today, guys? I think I will. It's locked from the inside. So that's maybe... There, there was like first floor and second floor from the underground tunnels. So maybe that's this, the other floor that we didn't, we didn't unlock. So... We're gonna can't look this item here. Why not? Why can't I not look that there? No. Why can't I not not leave the vaults? Wait, what was that? Oh, I thought I saw something shining. 
Oh, I can leave them here, but not in the other room. What the hell? So... Something about a date. I, I remember seeing something before about that. This is it with a new song? Let's try to pay attention to the blue... The blue letters or the blue sentences are usually the ones that it matters, right? It's in so... Tulpa. Plus one. Mm -hmm. The thing is... It was something that like we saw. It was not like a note. It was like where did where did we saw that man? That was so long ago. Uh, I forgot. It was like, was it a painting or something like, on the graveyard or something? But I remember seeing something with those. But even though, if I don't have the numbers, doesn't matter. Supernatural fire. What if I use a lighter there? There's a painting missing there. Yeah, because we cannot. Yeah, and the crossbow is right behind the painting. So that means once you get the painting, you get the crossbow basically. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But I feel I'm missing critical information. Uh, let me go to the last part of the dark forest that we haven't go yet. So we go... Right and left. This way. There are two paths. Small one and a bigger one. Let me go through here first. Okay, nothing. Now we go through this one. Silent Grove Cemetery. Holy... And I think this was the shack that that guy was talking about. I'm gonna grab the shotgun because I don't give a fuck. Abandon hope all you and en who enter here. The door is locked. The chosen one must have completed the Odyssey before this path will be unlocked. The chosen one must complete the Odyssey before this path will be unlocked. So this is the final exit. What? Yeah, I think this is literally the, the exit of the game. Oh, there's a small area there that I haven't checked. I think. Maybe not. Maybe that's the truck area. They go all the way down here. No, this is not where I want to go. Where is it? What? Is it behind this? Yeah. So maybe I need to move the truck. Right there, you see? Yeah, there's nothing there. Alright, let's go. <sighs> I don't know, to be honest, what to do now. We need the medallions. We're gonna have to go back all the way back to the beginning of the game. I'll backtrack tomorrow. Well, I think this is a good song to call the string, guys. Have a good night. 
Thank you everyone for stopping by. And I'll catch you tomorrow with more Demoness. Good night. Bye bye.